think we're gonna have to come through the front like they said. We might have to use the universal again. turn the steering wheel to move the u-joint it's kind of in the way this is quite the interesting bolt to try and remove and I've got my socket stuck on there can't really get a ratchet in there All right, so I'm on it. Let's see if we can get loose. longer to get on the bolt than it did to take the bolt out. Now I gotta find my socket. Well, there it is. Okay, so we're supposed to remove that bolt. What is that? No idea where that piece came from. Oh. Now we loosen the wrench. This one here on the back. It's getting pretty pretty cluttered back in here. In this too right here with the wrench on the other side we're gonna try and loosen that up and see and if we can get it loose we may let this side droop I don't know I'm doing this by myself so it's uh, not always the easiest, especially 
when you start off going the wrong way. Switch to the ratcheting wrench. Okay, so that side is free. There's this nut on here. I wish my light would stay in the right direction. It kind of has this tab to help you. You don't need a wrench on it. What was that? Dirt. That was just dirt. Alright, so we're going to leave this bolt in here part way. So that was a rock. This thing's been in a couple mud holes. We're going to support the differential with jack right here. And um, hopefully, I don't drop this thing on the ground. I guess I'm gonna have to use the ratchet here for a minute on this. I'm gonna have to get some more lights sometime. Whoops. All right, let's see if this air ratchet will take that out. Okay, so the jack is the only thing that's holding that side up. This side is free. That should be it. Um, let's let the jack down very slowly. And it's gonna wanna hit this cross member. And I'm not sure how to deal with that, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there so Are you ready? yeah let it down real slow easy okay hold up Okay, let it down. Easy, stop. Okay, let it down. Nice and slow. Stop. Hold on, I just gotta reposition my hand. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh. It's okay. I think we got it licked. All right. Let it down all the way. All right, definitely, that's a two-person two job, so. All right, so I pulled the front diff and the bushings were garbage. Uh, you see how cracked they are. And I started just taking them out. 
forgot to set up the camera. So I've got one from the top, one from the side, and I still have the passenger side left to remove. So it's been coming out a lot easier than I anticipated. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing to do this. Take his air chisel, go around the edge of him, and kind of smash it in a little bit. And take a mat gas torch and heat up the area around the bushing. <clears throat> heat up the housing where the bushing's pressed into just a little, not a lot. What we're trying to do is we're trying to swell up that, to release some of the pressure. Uh, should do it. Maybe start from here and see if we can't Probably be the only one that doesn't come out easy. heat on it. There you go. Bushing out. So 
So now we gotta clean these holes up a little bit with a wire wheel and order new bushings. Well, what do you expect? 181,000 miles. Stuff's gonna be wore out. All right, so we measured over an inch and an eighth from this mounting hole. I'm gonna start making a cut here. That's about as far as we can go with the cutoff wheel on this side. We might make a mark over, cut on the front with the cutoff wheel, and see if we can't finish it up with the sawzall. Make our mark square. There she goes. No turning back now. Just clean up the edges as a cut with a flat disc and let the 
brake components out and uh, put the brackets in the sandblaster and uh, we'll get those cleaned up, painted up. Next step.